Introduction to Financial Statement Analysis. Learning Objectives. At the end of this module, you will be able to identify the meaning of financial statements analysis, understand the significance of financial statements analysis, recognize the objectives of financial statements analysis. Financial statements are the written reports through which a company communicates financial information to various stakeholders, which enables them to make sound economic decisions. By now, you are aware that the basic financial statements usually include the profit and loss account or income statement and balance sheet or position statement. The profit and loss account provides the operating results of the business for a specific period and measures the operating efficiency of the company. The balance sheet provides the financial position of the business and measures the financial health of the company. The stakeholders thoroughly analyze these financial statements in order to measure the operating efficiency and financial health of a company. The analysis of the financial statements is the process through which various analysis tools are used to establish and study the relationship between the different facts and figures contained within them. The various financial analysis tools include the comparative statements, common size statements, trend analysis, ratio analysis, and cash flow analysis. We will learn about each of these tools in detail in the next few modules. To start with, we will focus on the financial statement analysis. The term financial analysis includes both the analysis and interpretation of financial data. As a part of the analysis, the stakeholders simplify the financial data further as per their requirement. To do this, they use one or more of the financial analysis tools mentioned. The analyzed data is further interpreted by explaining the meaning and significance of the data. So, we can say that analysis is the prerequisite of interpretation and that it's useless without interpretation. Let's look at it this way. An accident patient goes to a doctor, saying that he has a lot of pain in his leg due to an accident. The doctor takes an x-ray to study whether or not there is any internal damage. This is analysis. Now, based on his analysis of the x-ray, and by understanding the meaning and significance of the contents of the x-ray, the doctor confirms there is a fracture. This is interpretation. So, we can say that analysis and interpretation are complementary to each other. Therefore, when we refer to analysis, we will presume that interpretation is a part of it. Having learnt the meaning of financial statement analysis, we will now learn the significance of financial statement analysis. There are various categories of stakeholders in a business, like shareholders, investors, management, statutory bodies, banks, creditors, employees, and so forth. The need and requirement of one category of stakeholders may be different from another. As such, the nature of analysis may differ based on the purpose and interest of the analyst. Going on, we will look at the significance of analysis to each of these stakeholders, one by one. Let us first look at the significance of analysis to a finance manager. The financial analysis shows the strengths and weaknesses of a company in different areas. It does this by establishing the relationship between different items in the statements. Further, the analysis also focuses on managerial performance, corporate efficiency, operating efficiency, financial stability, and the creditworthiness of the company. To do this, a finance manager applies various tools and makes decisions based on his or her analysis and interpretation thereafter. The analysis of the financial statements helps the finance manager to decide upon the various operating and financial policies, credit ratings, 
and investment value of the business. Further, the finance manager can test the efficiency of operations, identify any deviations and causes of deviations, and take corrective measures wherever indicated. We can therefore say that the analysis of financial statements is of the utmost importance to a finance manager. Other than the finance manager, the top management and other functional managers also require this analysis to make various important decisions. To do this, a finance manager applies various tools and makes decisions based on his or her analysis. For instance, the top management always wants to ensure that the resources of the organization are optimally utilized. So, the analysis helps them to measure the success of the company's operations, appraising the individual's performance, and evaluating the internal control system. Similarly, functional managers like the production manager, marketing manager, and HR manager also use this financial analysis to test the efficiency of their functions, identify any weaknesses, and to exercise controls so that their respective functions work smoothly and in an optimized manner. Thirdly, the financial statement analysis is also important for trade creditors. The trade creditors analysis is mostly related to and focused on measuring the liquidity position of the company. The creditors want to know the ability of the company to meet its obligations on time. Further, they also want to measure the probability of the company's continued ability to meet its short-term financial obligations in the future. Fourthly, long-term money lenders need to analyze the solvency position of a company. These lenders include banks and other financial institutions that analyze not only the current and past financial performance of a company, but are also interested in the future projected financial health of the company too. They analyze the firm's ability to pay interest and the installments of principal loans on time by analyzing the profitability and capital structure relationships. Further, banks extending short-term loans also analyze the immediate liquidity position of a company. Fifthly, let us look at the significance of financial analysis to investors. The investors have to make decisions on whether to buy, sell, or hold shares of a company. For this purpose, they study the present and future earning capacity. They also analyze the capital structure to understand its influence on the earnings of the company and any risks. Furthermore, the financial analysis is significantly important to others like the government, labor unions, economists and researchers. For instance, the government analyzes the financial statements of the corporate sector for the purpose of deciding on licensing laws, price regulations, taxation, subsidies, and more. The labor unions analyze the financial statements to see whether the company can afford to hike wages. Further, economists can judge the concentration of economic power and pitfalls in the financial and economic policies followed along with the areas of change in policies in order to strengthen the corporate structure. So, the financial statement analysis serves the needs and interests of many different stakeholders. Moving ahead, we will focus on the objectives of the financial statements analysis. The prime objective of this is to measure the strengths and weaknesses of the performance of a business operations and to forecast the future prospects of the company. The facts, as revealed by analysis, help the analysts to make various decisions regarding the operations of and further investments in the business. Let us look at the specific objectives of the financial analysis. It identifies and ascertains the relative importance of different components of the profit and loss account and balance sheet. It helps to identify and measure reasons for changes in profitability and the financial position of a business from one period to another. It helps judge the ability of a firm to fulfill both its short and long-term obligations on time. In short, we can say that the financial analysis assesses the current profitability and operational efficiency of a company as a whole and its functional areas. This completes the module 
on Introduction to Financial Statements Analysis.